the first conversation about making my books into film, I thought it was a good idea to have somebody who could kind of do what I did with the books and the stories, but from a US perspective. And then they found Nathaniel. <laughs> it felt like he could tell the kind of stories that I wish I could tell. Simon and I uh, got along quite well right out of the gate. I grew up in New Jersey and he grew up in Sweden, yet there was still a lot of overlap in terms of experience and emotion. And I'm greatly influenced by European art and film, so its tone also has a European tone to it. It's a little bit of a hybrid in that sense, that uh, you sense the journey it took from Sweden to America in terms of setting without losing all of that. I started drawing as a kid, as every other kid, I guess. But I think it was when I was around eight or nine that it became almost like an obsession. And, and that's when I really kind of started to identify myself as somebody who drew. It's a research facility where weird experiments are going on. And, and those experiments alter the fabric of reality, so things we didn't think was possible are starting to happen it's out there in the landscape of the loop. It was a, a struggling town before the Loop facility was founded, and it kind of brought new life to this town. So you have a combination of the locals who have been here for generations, who are slightly amused. And then you have the engineers and the physicists and all the uh, assisted crew who have moved here. I've been impressed with the ambition and scale of what we're actually building to create the world of this uh, series in that some things that would just be a computer-generated element, we were actually building the robot or we're building the structure that uh, they're driving by. So it, the realism of it all, when you're actually filming it, you are in this world, it feels like Simon's paintings come to life.